So far, I'm very happy with what the flowers are doing. That's not one of my complaints. I think there are other things I might like before that. And I can't think of what they are at this moment, but I will tell you something really exciting apropos of that. When I developed my cake mix, one of the big concerns was shelf life. Because since it's all natural stuff, and I didn't want any emulsifiers or anything, I, I know that the baking powder would, and baking soda possibly would dissipate if there was any humidity from the flour. That's what gives it the shelf life. Because so, otherwise, it could last a few years. So I spoke to the people who developed the Rumford baking powder, which is the one that I prefer because it has calcium instead of uh, sodium and has a much better flavor. And they said that they are right now working on, and by now it's perfected, a way of encapsulating. Maybe it's through that same process we were talking about before, about creating the heat treatment of the flour granule, that they've done the same thing with the baking powder so that it can be coated. And they do this in medicine, because there's some medicines that are very bitter, so they bond it to the outside so that you don't taste it when it dissolves. So they're doing that with the leavening. Well, isn't that interesting <laughs> that you can do this in industry that um, that you'd be able to have it shelf stable for much, much longer because it protects it. So all of this has a huge consequence. And I think it's so fascinating that I started working with Wonder at the same time that Kate in the UK was trying to come up with a way to make her, the flour work over there. And it all was about the same issue of, how, of gelatinization, of how to get flour to absorb liquid. But I think we should think, we should dream and think what the ideal thing would be. And I think that that's certainly subject for future thought. Does anybody else have something that they would like? Now's the time to mention we can start working on it. <laughs> yeah? Is the one cup to three fourth cup conversion of cake flour to winter flour, is that for any cake recipe? Yeah, okay. because I'm doing it by weight. So okay. this is the problem with volume. No two cups are practically alike. So it's very hard to give exchanges, but since I can't publish a book just in metric and ounces and sell it to 99% of the people, I'm forced to put in the volume, but I really don't like it. But I, I worked it out. Wonder Flower, the weight of it, it's, you don't have to sift it. You can just pour it out of the canister. It doesn't seem to change its weight, whether you sift it or whether you scoop it. Because that's one of the problems with people using other flowers. It weighs differently depending on how you measure. I mean, if you scoop it out and dip it and you put it into the cup, it depends on if you dump it or if you put it in gently. If you dip and sweep, if you're living in New York and the flower's been sitting for a few weeks, all the vibrations will make it settle so you're getting more flour. That's why Julia Child always said, stir the flour first. So there are all these variables, and that's why I always say, sift the flour, one cup of sifted flour, not because you even have to sift, but just because that way you know you're getting the same volume. It's very hard to get a different volume, even though your cut may be a little different, at least the flour itself is equal in, in denomination. Can you recommend a scale for use? A oh, scale for home use, yes. The reason I can is I was touting all these scales. One was $3,000, the other was $300. And somebody on the blog wrote about this fabulous scale, and you can find it on the blog too. But they have their own site. It's called My Way. M Y W E I G H dot com. And there are several different models. That's why it's good to go to the blog and see the one I recommend. I think it's called the professional one. KD 7000. Okay. Oh, thank you, Woody. I made sure he had it because Woody's my recipe, official recipe tester. And if he was using a different scale or different way of doing it, I wouldn't be able to trust the results. <laughs> the same as mine. It was a very big leap because I never had anybody do this for me before because. Basically, I like to do everything myself, but you know, we set it up so that we had the same situation, even though Minneapolis is a little colder and uh, more humid in the summer. But it was a very identical situation. Anyway, the My Way is so affordable, and it was produced by somebody who wanted to keep things affordable so that he could have everybody weigh. And he's been really supportive, and he's uh, supplied scales when I do demos, and we just we didn't meet one today because everything was pre weighed. But, I'm not earning any money from it. I can just tell you with a whole heart that it's accurate and it's really great. That's affordable. It's not too huge. No, it's oh. only like about six inches. And it has a plastic cover. That annoys some people because when you want to tear out the weight of the bowl, then you have to lift it up. It's removable. It keeps it from getting it. It is removable, but I would yeah. not recommend removing it because then all the stuff falls onto it and it gets dirty. But 
<laughs> Mine's dirty. Yours dirty. <laughs> I wipe it off. Uh oh, that may have to. Be no, no, no. Accuracy. We have to go back. Sorry, Pam, but we have to redo all the recipes. <laughs> <laughs> A proportion for the durum wheat in the bread to the to the um, bread flour that you use in the bread bottle. Oh, in oh. Brain, however. okay, that's I'm fine. Sorry, I don't remember. No, that's or you that's, could ask on the blog. And I have the book. <laughs> it's oh. not an issue. By the way, anybody who has the book and it's up and they don't have the third printing, be sure to go to the blog for the errata page because anything, any corrections. And, and this is the great thing about the internet. Now, you know, before authors were stuck with all the many mistakes that get integrated into a book in most cases, but now you can post them so people don't have to fail by following your instructions. The Cake Bible never had any mistakes in it, although I must say, with all the millions of bloggers out there, somebody managed to find one. It wasn't a significant one, but you know, he should have gotten some sort of award, like the first copy of the next book. So I wanted to thank everybody involved with this Woody for coming all this way and making all these cakes and, and Anne McBride for setting it up and NYU and Amy and Ken for making it possible for so that we don't really have to cook and bake in the dark, you know, that we can light a candle and understand more about what's happening and people who are interested in finding it out. And gold medal flour for making my favorite flour and, and sponsoring my blog. Thank you all for coming. signed in yet, there's a sign-up sheet right there by the end of the table. We have some wine if you want to hang out. Uh, and for those of you who also don't know much about the experiments or this collective, you can go to our website. The uh, URL is on all the handouts. Thank you for coming. It's fun. Yeah. Get this out. Hand me your garbage. Great. I think yeah, great, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Put on the table. Lydia's going to say hi. I'm the trans fat lady. Laura just put on the phone. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a great event. Did you make all the cakes? Mm -hmm. You're from Minneapolis just to make the cakes. Uh, that and the uh, uh, business meeting and that's all. I film and I'm her girl, I'm her boy Friday, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. After we talked, I looked into